For our communion thought today, I want you to think about a wanted poster and the components that are on it. Now, a wanted poster in the Old West served a couple of different functions. One, it was to let the public know as a warning that there is a dangerous criminal at large. And the second one is that basically it is a means to bring a person to justice. Now on the top of the sign, you will see this word, wanted. Now, wanted is a word I want you to think about with communion. First of all, you and I are wanted. Now, we're not wanted in the same way that is on that poster, but you and I are wanted by God, not as enemies, but as friends. God desires a relationship with you. God wants to spend time with you. You are wanted. Another thing that you'll see on a wanted poster is this reward. And this indicates that someone is willing to pay in order to see that criminal brought to justice. But for us, God is the one who has paid the price. And God is the one who pays the debt that is owed. Oftentimes, you'll also see on a wanted poster this phrase, wanted, dead, or alive. And that means that if you or I were able to come across this individual, that we have an opportunity to bring that person to justice. And in the words of the Mandalorian, uh, I can bring you in warm or I can bring you in cold. But I want to bring you to a scripture that talks about this wanted, dead, or alive. And it's out of Romans chapter 6, verses 4 through 11. It says, We therefore were buried with him through baptism into death in order that Christ was raised from the dead through glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For we have been united with him in death like his. We will certainly be united with him in the resurrection like his. For we know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body ruled by sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin because anyone who has died has been set free from sin. Now, if we died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. For we know that since Christ was raised from the dead, he cannot die again. Death no longer has mastery over him. The death he died, he died to sin once and for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. In the same way, count yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. As Christians, we can celebrate being both dead and alive. We are dead to sin because God has paid the price for that sin to be washed away. And we are alive in the freedom that Christ has brought us and bought us in the fact that he has risen from the dead. And he's conquered Satan and sin and death. Why has God done all of this for you? It is because you are wanted.